In this video tutorial, we'll be discussing how to place a texture on a surface in Google SketchUp, and then we'll view it in augmented reality, see what it looks like. First of all, we need a surface or an object to put, uh, put the texture on. So we'll start simply with a flat rectangle. You'll then come up to the top menu bar and select the push-pull tool. If you'll notice, all you have to do is roll over or mouse over the surface that you would like to change. Go ahead and mouse over that, then press the left mouse button and roll straight forward. This basically extrudes the face and makes it a 3D object. Now that we have our 3D shape, we're going to use a tool called Offset. Go on up to your tools menu once again, select the Offset option just like you did with the push-pull tool. Mouse over the face, press the left mouse button, and drag until we have a desired uh, shape. Let's make it right about there. Good. Now we're going to go back to our push-pull tool, and then select this interface right here. Mouse over it, press the left mouse button, and then pull the mouse towards you. Now we're ready for our texture. To do that, we'll need to import a photo. Go on up to the File menu, go down until you see the Import option, and select that. You will be presented with the Open Image dialog box. Here you will select the image you would like to put on the object. However, if you're having trouble finding any files in this dialog, make sure that Files of Type, which is right here, is either on all supported image types, or it's on the particular file type that you're looking for. One thing you need to make sure is that you have the Use as Texture option selected on the right side of the dialog box. This makes sure it's most compatible with the object faces. Now that we're ready and we got the graphic that we want, go ahead and press the Open button. You'll see that again, the object follows your cursor. Go ahead and position your cursor over the face you would like to place the photo on. Click on any any part of the face and then drag let go and you'll see now that we have marquee on a face on our object. What we need to do is we need to position and size the image on the face. The best way to do that is go ahead and go up to your select tool, press that, and then right click and then right click on the face with the texture. Scroll down to texture you'll see a flyout, select position, and you'll see the entire wallpaper and your icon actually changed to a hand. As it says, drag to move the texture around and position it as you need. In this operation you'll see four colored icons. The red icon is for moving the image, the blue icon is for skewing the image, and the yellow icon is for creating a perspective, if you will. The green icon is what you'll use to rotate in size, which is what we're going to use now. So for right now, let's push on the green pin and then move to the right. Now let it snap. Let it snap to one of the axes. You'll see how the blue, the blue line is snapping to the red axis. Let go at a comfortable size and then click anywhere on screen and drag the graphic to the position you'd like. Let's orient the object a little bit. Press the Enter key to accept the changes. Now go on up to the Orbit tool and let's take a look around and see what it looks like. As long as we can see the entire object, you can press the Select tool right up here. Click and drag a box around our entire object. That will select everything which is signified by a blue color. Everything is outlined in blue. Right click anywhere on the object and select make group. Now it's one object that we can view all of it in augmented reality. And like magic, we have a photo frame of our friend Marky. 